Max Defense Philippines received confirmation from several sources from the Philippine Army, the defense industry, and from members of the public that the Philippine Army has the first batch of ASCOD Pizarro II Sabra light tanks that we reported today delivered and having undergone fire tests at Fort Max Ace, Nueva. Photos below show the system when they were delivered a few days ago, which were delivered with the turret and platform separated. You can see the installation of the turret being done locally, most likely with technical assiatants from Elbit Systems. Based on what we've seen, the turret of the Philippine Army ASCOD Sabra looks closer to the one mounted on the vehicle displayed by Elbit Systems in their facility in Haifa, Israel during the visit of Romania's Defense Minister several weeks ago. It also appears that the ASCOD Pizarro vehicle platform is tall, even compared to the ASCOD-based mobile protected firepower light tank of the US Army. Pizarro Phase 2 or Pizarro 2 is an infantry fighting vehicle with a number of improvements. It has an improved hull design and an improved weapon stabilization system. Currently in production for the Philippine Army, the normal weight of an ASCOD-2 vehicle is around 30 tons can be upgraded to 42T, so it is significantly heavier than Pizarro and Yulin before it. ASCOD-2 offers a higher level of protection than its predecessors. Vehicle has advanced modular armor and innovative mine protection. The floor of the hull has a special shape, plus there is an additional layer of composite armor. The vehicle also has a higher ground clearance due to the redesigned suspension. The crew and passengers sat in mine explosion proof seats. The new ASCOD-2 withstands an explosion equivalent to over 10 kilograms of TNT anywhere under the hull or under any track location. This development is contrary to statements by Philippine Army Commanding General Lieutenant General Romeo Brauner that the tanks would only start to arrive next year.